Love isn't just a word, but a blend of millions of feelings which comes with liabilities that are sometimes harsh enough to compel you to give up on each other. But it is this love so deep and profound that makes you ready to fight and still hold down without giving up. Welcome to another episode of Book Talk and today we'd be discussing The Perfect Us by Darjoy Datta. Datta is an Indian author and screenwriter who is best known for his novels about young Indian romance. And The Perfect Us is no different except it talks more about conflicts of interest in a relationship than love. It is a beautiful portrayal of a love story between two people who are deeply in love with each other despite the different shades of their personalities. The Perfect Us centers around the perfect couple Deb and Avantika and one can find an unusual number of similarities between Deb and the author himself. Deb is a former business executive who wanted to become a great writer but ends up working as a scriptwriter for television serials. He isn't particularly attractive when compared to his gorgeous wife Avantika. She is a stunning investment banker, a rising star in her field, the epitome of elegance with brain and the centre of attraction for every man out there. In short, the guy is less than the girl. But they both met and fell in love while in college when nobody expected them to be a couple. Against all odds, they've managed to stay together for 10 years and have done well so far. They're both happy when the story begins and there are frequent flashes from the past that proves that they've been leading a perfect life as a married couple. But things take a turn when Avantika expresses her desire to take their relationship to the next level and have a child. But Deb feels that the two of them are adequate for each other and there is no space for someone else. Their difference in expectations from each other causes chaos in their happy love life. Eventually, Deb decides to go by his wife's decision. It is then that they realize the fact that having a baby is not as easy as it sounds. They had never anticipated the hardships that they were about to face. When they can't conceive, even after trying for a year, they decide to consult a specialist which brings heartbreaking revelations. It gives rise to a lot of conflict. It is very likely that we'd be reminded of Monica and Chandler from the ninth season of the series Friends and their struggle to have a baby. From this point, the novel is a roller coaster of emotions. Nothing goes right and we're constantly reminded of how cruel life can be. The hardships before and after getting pregnant are described in minute details which can make us weep. The book has a very natural setting and a bunch of characters that are believable and the way it portrays emotions is what makes it stand apart. It talks about the process of IVF, the failures to conceive, the emotional trauma and the family pressure that comes along. Datta clearly gives the message that marriage is not a destination but rather a journey. He makes us understand that perfection lies in the imperfect parts of us and all our lives we crave for perfection and fail to realize that it has been in us all along. If you enjoy reading over emotional contexts based on real life situations and are bored with the much cliched college and office romances, this perfect blend of all the attributes of love is a must read.